My name's Jeff. I'm originally from Canada. And now I'm living in beautiful Byron Bay. I originally came to Australia as a backpacker. Uh, I loved it so much, I ended up staying and uh, just decided to get into business for myself and started my first company. My brand definitely epitomizes the uh, Byron Bay lifestyle. It's energetic, it's young, it's fashionable. The dream for the business would be to have my product out there all over Australia. Hello Sharks, my name's Jeff and I come from Byron Bay today to offer you 20% of my company, Grown Wooden Eyewear, in exchange for $60,000. Grown designs and sells bamboo and wood sunglasses online through our three main sites, uh, which cater to Europe, North America, and Australia, New Zealand markets. All of our products are made using FSC certified wood and bamboo and all come with UV 400 polarized lenses. For every pair uh, purchased in North America or Europe, we fully fund sight restoring eye surgery for one person or diagnostic eye exams for 12. Similarly, in Australia, through our new giving partner, Wires, for every pair sold, we provide the gift of life to an orphaned or injured Australian animal. So what we're here today to, to do is uh, get a partner that understands our conscious approach to capitalism and someone that can open doors for us and get us in retail shops, which we've previously uh, ignored. So what I'd like to do before you have any questions is hand you a pair that I've handpicked for you. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Thanks, Jeff. You, you said Byron Bay, Jeff, but your accent suggests you're from somewhere else originally. A little further north. It's true. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from Canada originally. Right. But uh, I've been in Australia for six years. They actually look really good on you. Yeah, good on you, Naomi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, they just look like something Damien would ever use or something. Oh, stop. Mind you, you know what? The good news is, if he thinks that, they're obviously stylish. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's good news. Yeah. You're on a winner there, Jeff. Yeah, You're you on are. Winner. Thanks, Definitely. Man. Thank you. I like them. You look great. You look very cool. Tell me about your online world. How many people visit your Australian website? Um, we're hitting about 400, 500 a day. And how many people are buying? Uh, sell through of about 2.1%. So are you selling 10 of these a day online? Through the three through the three online shops, we're selling more than 10 a day. How much do they are a people? They, they range in price from 120 to uh, 175. That's actually not too bad. Jeff, where are you at in the sales cycle? Have you started selling these in Australia and in your other locations? I started up in 2010, but our first full year of sales was 2012. Um, at that time, we did 65,000 in sales and uh, did a, a net profit of uh, 37,000. 2013, we essentially doubled that, so 125. 2014, we took a bit of a hit. Uh, it was kind of a self-inflicted hit, actually. I pulled one of our, our top selling item off the shelves. Um, I didn't want to sell it because I was not convinced of the sustainability. Pulled them off. We, we lost a bit in sales. But it gave me the chance to go back, get all of our, our wood suppliers FSC certified. Tell us about your green credentials, because it's obviously important to you. I'm just an environmental guy. I care about well, the impact that I have on the earth, and that's what this business was for. It was, it was to do something good. So uh, how much of your uh, revenue goes to your charitable efforts? Donations range between uh, 14 and uh, $25. Do you work full-time in the business? I work uh, I probably part-time on it. Um, what, what else do you do? I also run another company, uh, which is a winter headwear company. That's, uh, that's going quite well right now. Is it? How well is that going? Uh, we're doing six figures. So how much concentration will this business have? Uh, well, that's another reason I wanted to bring somebody else on. Oh, so you, 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 you're working in this business? You actually... I will be working in it, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, all right. I'm doing, a, I'm doing a, a couple projects at the... So you'll be selling winter headwear and wooden sunglasses? Uh, yeah. Um, I wish you all the best, Matt Brown.
there's really a tension, a conflict here. For an investor, we really want to know that you're on our business, whatever that is, yep. whereas you could be spending potentially 90% of your time on the other business and 10% on this, at, at which point we would be suffering. I'm devoted to, to, to everything I do, 100%, or I'll drop a project, but, but I really want to see this one grow. Um, uh, the other business is running kind of self-sufficiently self right now. But you know no business does that. It only takes one person to leave and, you're, and suddenly you have to put this on the sideline because this is your cash cow. No business runs independently of the person that loves it, lives it and breathes it. You know, I don't want to step out of grown. I want to grow grown. This is, this is, I want to see this take off more. I want to play. I really do. I really want to get in business with you. I want another excuse to see my beautiful yoga teacher in Byron Bay on a regular Great. basis. Um, but I love the product. I don't like the structure. I'd want to get involved the whole business and then work collectively with you to grow both. And we've got it, both both um, seasons sort of sorted. Would you re-look at it and um, talk about winter headwear as, as uh, the whole business? Would you reconsider it? I, I didn't expect it. I listened to any offers, but it, it would have to be substantial. Yeah. I suppose it's probably another long conversation, but I just think if it was a different you know, thing where they were both in there, I would have bit your hand off. But unfortunately for this opportunity, damn it, but I'm out. Thank you for your consideration anyway. I did. You look good in them. I did look good. Oh, thank you. Um, I love your product. I like the look of it. I I'd be a customer, and I like the fact that it's environmentally friendly. But, you know, choosing a partner, someone to invest in, um, you know, with respect, uh, I, I find that there's mixed messages there. I'm a bit confused. I'm not sure where your attention would be. And so okay. I wish you luck, but for all those reasons, I'm out. Thanks, man. So I hear the concerns regarding um, a commitment to the business. And I love the business and I love what you stand for. So I am going to put you an offer. OK. It might not be an offer you like, but it's the only way that I can make sure that this business gets the love and attention that it needs. So I'm going to offer you the $60,000 you've asked for for 51% of the business. OK. It's a bit of a shock. Thanks for warning me. <laughs> You're in Shark Tank, didn't you know? <laughs> shark Tank, Shark Tank. Just to clarify, that's 51% uh, of this of eyewear this business, business. This not, not his, business. Not his Northern Hemisphere hat business. OK. Can I, uh, can I just ask, what, what do you... What how do, do you I see bring? that going? Yeah, what would you bring to the table? So, um, Red Balloon, my existing business, we're in 7,000 retail outlets. I also bring a great deal of web experience. So if we were to do nothing else, I would really be driving your website. A and yeah, I'd be taking that way under my wing pretty quickly, which is why I want 51%. OK. Yeah, that's a good Jeff, I'll make you an offer. First and foremost, because I really like you. Thanks, mate. Thank I think you. you're a good guy. Thank you. Uh, I love the fact that you pulled your top selling line because you're concerned about the sustainability of the timber. To me, that says that if I got into business with you, I'm getting into business with a really good guy. Thanks. I even love the fact that you came in flip-flops. That's kind of pretty cool. So I'll make you an offer. I think it's slightly better than a Naomi's deal. 
and I'm going to say to Naomi if she wants to come in with the offer, if you accept it, that I would also be happy working alongside Naomi. So just there's a few elements. Let me just, just bear with me. Number one. The monetary side of the offer is $40,000 for 40%. And a $20,000 loan to the business on commercial terms for two years. Number two, Naomi and I both know a guy called Chris Beer, who's the head of OPSM and Sunglass Hut. Probably Australia's preeminent providers of eyewear. Luxotica is also a global brand, so there's a potential for this not just to hit Australia, but hit around the world. Third condition is we carve off, all of us, 5% for an ambassador. A 5% free gifting of this for them to be our ambassador and we can then utilise them in marketing, social media and so forth. Naomi, do you want to be on your own? I think uh, John and I both bring different skill sets to this and I think that that would be very valuable to you. So you'd come in at the uh, 40 for 40? We'd split it. So it would be 40% between the two of us. You get two sharks and an ambassador and a joint introduction and meeting with Luxottica to get you into OPSM and Sunglass Hut. Sounds like a deal. You let us know when you get back to Sydney <laughs> and then we'll organise to go and see Chris and yeah. we're on the road. And we're on the road. Good luck to you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you, see you later. Grown will continue to, to grow, um, especially with them on board. So we're going to do everything we can to get this out onto all the Australians' faces. Parker, I would have come in on that. Oh, really? <laughs> and I was hoping you would say no to him, and then I would have gone, I'll have it. I was going, say no, say no, say no. And I thought, I'll come straight in there.